Hello VR chatters, this is Rantis coming at you with a quick tutorial on porting the legacy animations into animator state machines. Now as some of you may or may not be aware, the latest version of VR chat um, removed the ability to use legacy animations on avatars and worlds. There are a number of reasons this was done, mostly because um, Unity itself has depreciated legacy animations and they were also being used maliciously. So now we don't have them, but that's not all bad. There is a very quick way to fix this. So right now I have an avatar right here, one of my main avatars right here. And as you might be able to see, I have a few dance animations here that um, rely on the old legacy animation system to work properly. So what I can do is I can create a state machine to have them work properly because um, if I tried using this in VRChat right now these animations would not work. So if you can see right here I'm basically just using the animation node like I like you normally would for this and you'd probably use the same thing for blinks and I'm probably going to do a secondary one which shows how to do it on a blink. So how would we do this? Well the first thing we would do is get rid of the animation node. Remove component. Now what we the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create an animator controller and we are going to name it um, whatever we want so in my sense for my purposes I'm going to name it fallback so now we're going to go into the animator and as you can see it's not connected to anything so I'm going to take my legacy animation that I have made here and I'm going to drag it in and it's automatically going to create it as the um, default state if it's not, then just set it as the default state. Then I'm going to go into this animation, and as you can see, it's set as a legacy. So I'm going to go into debug. I am going to change it into a normal animation. And then, let me go back to normal mode. And so now the state machine is set up. So it's set up where, um, the state machine drives the old animation that we have just um, ticked as a normal animation rather than a legacy. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go into the asset that the animator was originally on and we are going to add component. We're going to add an, oh sorry, I mean the animation was initially on and we are going to make an animator there. And we are going to drag the new state machine onto this. Keep that as none, apply some root motion. Or don't. Eh. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That's basically it. So, what about for something like a blink or something, which is actually a pretty common usage for legacy animations? So, I'm going to open up um, one of my models that I use a lot Rantis V4. Alright. So, yeah. This is another one of my avatars which has a um, legacy animation on it right here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the blink here and I'm going to create, just like before, we are going to create an animated controller. I'm going to call it new blink. And um, if you want it on the, um, so what you're going to do is um, you're going to put it on the mesh if it's being driven by a blend shapes, um, you're going to put it on the mesh that has the blend shapes. So I'm going to add a component here to the body, which is the head, and I'm going to call animator, and we're going to put new blink as the animation, and we're going to apply, no, we don't need to apply root motion. And in new blink, we're going to go to the animator, and we're going to find the regular blink here, it's right here. And one to one, one to one, yes. And I'm going to disable this animation and let's not forget to switch the actual animation over to non-legacy, which it already is, because I tested this before. 
and as you can see it might not work 100% now if this is what's happening what you should do is you should go into the animation itself and test if it's working or not if it's not then odds are the hierarchy is different because now the animation controller is on the direct so as you can see right here I have body set up first which is not necessary if we're working directly from animators so I'm going to take that off and now we're going to test it and as you can see the uh, blink has taken and yeah it works just like it did before but with the um, animator state machine system so yeah that's how um, you port your legacy animations over to animator state machines and um, yeah have a good day